from a... You're refusing to put down your camera. And it's actually against our policy to even film staff in this area. But you're a taxpayer-funded bunch. <laughs> I love when people say that. We're, yes, we're a public building, sure. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Now, be specific with me, please. What are the uh, exact reasons for the ejection? This is against our policy, and you're not complying with our policy. You're asked to comply with policy, and you're definitely not. But you said just a second ago I was compliant, and you were no, thanking me for being compliant. For coming up to the desk, and I'm glad that you have that on footage now. That's why you were complying, but you weren't complying with what I asked. Which part was I not complying with? Uh, you're refusing to put down your camera. And it's actually against our policy to even film staff in this area. What law are you acting under? What I mean, you're talking about policy. I'm required to follow laws, not policy. This is our personal policy, sir. But you're a taxpayer-funded bunch. <laughs> I love when people say that. We're, yes, we're a public building, sure. But we are also, let's see, kind of privately owned as well. And I don't have to tell you why. I don't have to explain our rules. If you truly want to know, it's a privacy issue. So. Now, under what circumstances am I permitted back in the building? You want to stop filming? You're welcome to come back. Hey, you guys come back here. Then there wouldn't be any record of our interactions. Am I allowed to audio record? I think we never heard anything against audio, but I can double check for you. Okay, so what I will do is come back into the building, audio recording now. Uh, without filming and see what happens. Do you have any objections to that? No, not at this point. Okay, so camera coming off, audio, uh, audio is on, and in I, in I go. Now, by the way, for the record, the previous situation where I was given numbers to call, I ended up in voicemail jail the second time. I just got voicemail when I was taken to the people I was supposed to get permissions from. Mm -hmm. So getting permissions as of 30 minutes ago appears to have sure, been is, either impractical. A big pardon. It is a weekend. Our offices would be closed at this time. If you want to do this, you should do it ahead of time. Well, I don't have a time machine. I'm sure that they have to plan these things out. You have to reserve the room for your event in a timely manner. So in that manner when they book uh, it, you should call. I'm supposed to know this how. This is the first time this has ever... I and mean, I've done that's, this I've done this here before without security ever interfering with it. They've always been helpful. It's a policy, sir. But, uh, to be clear, there's no restriction on the audio recording here, so I'm going to continue forward. <clears throat> Now, we've agreed, or at least they have declined to oppose. No, all right, whatever. I'll talk so, to you. I'll okay, tell you later so what's going on. They've indicated, the they've indicated that I can come back in as no. long as I'm not filming. 
Now what's happening now is I'm closer to the security desk again. I'm audio taping. Providing a description of me to the police over the phone. So you can say he's talking, I can't hear you. Thank you. You're welcome. Sure. Khaki shirt, black pants, black shoes. Um, I don't believe so. Sir, do you arrive in a vehicle? Am I required to answer your questions? No. Mm, I can't tell. As far as I can tell, no. No. It's Ridley here. I wanted to report a minor emergency. I've got a situation where security has called police on me at the Penrose Library in Colorado Springs. I'm visiting here. Uh, someone's currently calling the police. They're giving a description to me, and I'm going to give you audio of that now. Totally. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Now, I need specifics from you as to whether I am being asked to leave currently or not. Those You're two have indicated... I had to call him back because I had to figure out the best action that we're supposed to take in this moment. So you are being asked to leave. Okay. Okay. So just let me know. All right. The clarity is good because I was not clear very much for the last four minutes. So I'm going to begin well, leaving again. Pretty clear. So... Well, there were differences between what you were saying and what they were saying. Does that make sense? That's a okay. Personal opinion. Yeah. Okay, so I'm walking backwards again out of the building. Uh, there's not much to film now, so I'll probably just turn around and go. Anyway, uh, I will check back in with you in a few minutes if everything is okay and I have not been further accosted uh, and uh, I was trying to uh, film a, uh, an anti-Trump event that was supposed to be happening here today at the library. It looks like that won't happen. <sighs> However, as with anything else, being banned from doing something is usually more interesting than anything else. Alright, now I'm outside the building. And heading back to my car, I'll resume filming now. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian-free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM. 
to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.